Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to learn about SVG in D3. SVG stands for Scalable Vector Graphics. Here, scalable means that if you zoom in or out of the object, it would not appear pixelated. It scales with the display system, whether it's on a small mobile screen or a large TV monitor. SVG is used to make common geometric shapes. Since D3 maps data onto, into a visual representation, it uses SVG to create the shapes for the visualization. SVG shapes for a web page must go within an HTML SVG tag. Um, so yeah, an SVG tag. So if a warrior were doing bot, like uh, uh, SVG, it would be like SVG uh, and then SVG, right? Uh, that one is actually s shaped up because there's a uh, SVG CSS class here. Uh, CSS can be scalable when styles are use relative scales such as VH, VW, or percentages. But SVG is more flexible to build data visualization. So we want to add an SVG node to the body using a pen to give it a width attribute set to the provided W constant. So here we have the W constant and a height attribute set to the provided H constant. So this is the H constant. Uh, we want to use ATTR or style methods for each. And you'll see the output because there's a background color of pink applied. So we saw that the SVG has a background color of pink applied to the style tag. Uh, when using ATTR, width and height attributes do not have units. This is the building blocks of scaling the elements. Okay, I'm just going to stretch this out so our code's more easily read. Uh, so yeah, here we want to, I'm just keeping my period in line with this guy. So I'm going to go dot uh, append and we want to go SVG. Um, and then we can just go dot style and then we want to add a uh, width. Now we should make this a string width and make that equal to W and then a style with uh, height equal to H. And that should work, but it's not working. So what's going on here? Um, perhaps SVG needs to be a string. Okay, cool, we got it. So we need to pass the SVG in as a string-like element. Um, okay, so what to do next? Uh, I think that's actually good to go. Yeah, all right. So uh, I think, can we do ATTR as the same way? Run the tests. Okay, yeah, that works the same way. So ATTR and, and style work the same way. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. Uh, I'm not sure how I could talk about this anymore. The key here is to pass in the append as an SVG. You need to add this. When you add append, you need to add, even though it's the a variable name, you need to make it a string. And then this one, we pass in a string, and then the followed by a variable. So this is the JavaScript. It's just rendering out to 500. So this would actually look the same if you did this, but it's just because we're going to use this uh, width variable up here. And the same with the height variable. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next lesson.